How you doing? Good. good. How's practice today? It's good. It's a good day outside. Um, it's nice to get that heat off of us. Um, you know, it's a different environment, a little chilly. Much appreciated. What are the emotions like getting ready to face North Texas and match the two undefeated teams in the finals? Um, it's electric. You know, it's gonna be a, it's a, good, it's gonna be a good showdown. You know, hopefully a classic. And uh, you know, we're really excited for the opportunity. This is the eighth straight game week for your group. How are you guys holding up physically? And what's the impact of that grind? On you? Um, you know, every position around the country is banged up, as well as every other team. And so, uh, what you do is you try and recover the best you can, um, keep your mind as fresh as possible, and you know, pick each other up. What was your review of the way the offensive line played the last this last game? Um, I think we fought well. Um, there was a few things we could have cleaned up and been better at, as always, every week. Um, but I was really proud of Walker's performance and how he went out there, no fear, and was just excited to get to work. A lot of people were shocked that, you know, he just converted from the D-line three or four weeks ago, and now he's he started. He actually looked pretty good. Uh, w were you surprised at his performance? Uh, no, I, I, I knew he had that in him um, simply because it's just the guy he is. And, um, you know, it didn't surprise me when they threw him out there because – he embraced the O-line room when he stepped in. You know, it wasn't a, oh, I don't want to be here. So, you know, he took us in. We took him in. And, you know, he prided himself on that next man up mentality we pride ourselves about. And so he went out there and got the work. Yeah, what is it like when he shows up in that offensive line for the first time to you and some of the other older guys kind of help him find his way? Or how does that process play out in the room? Well, yeah. So, you know, anytime a new guy is added to the room, it's our job as single digit guys and older guys to encourage them and bring them along and, you know, involve them in the culture of the room, you know, and not leave anyone out to dry. And there's probably a lot of information getting thrown at him. Do you have to like focus on certain pieces of advice or how do you make sure it's not kind of overwhelming? Um, well, so I, I make sure, you know, I don't want to baby him or nothing like that. And so I know he's in there working his tail off and stuff, but of course, you know, for the success of the program, I do have to, you know, help him with certain calls and stuff like that. But he's in there working every day and the amount of calls I'm having to make is trimming down and it's, it's great and great. How is that communication like within a game different when it's when it's him starting at left tackle for the first time compared to when you're next to you know even last year a very experienced guy or someone who's been there for a while? Uh, it's just less communication, you know. And so when you're playing with a guy that you played with, like I played with Spence and he was my roommate, you know, we really didn't have to talk about too many things because we played next to each other for so long and we've been together for so long that it was like clockwork. Um, with a guy like Walk, you know, who's just coming in, we have to make sure that we communicate things and nothing is left to. Uh, you know, second chance, or I think that he knows. He was saying, you know, even going back a ways, that some of the offensive linemen and the coaches would kind of tease him that he might be a fit in that room. Is that something you guys have thought about before? Of course, you know, you know, we love each other on this team, so we always joke with guys. And so we did see Walker as a guy that we was like, you know, hey, you look like you could play a line. You know, we always welcome him in his room, buddy. And so to have him actually in his room is actually funny, but, you know, we enjoy him. Why is that? Like, what stood out about him that made him a potential fit? He just looked, I, when I first saw Walk, I thought he was a guard. And, uh, you know, he just got the body type. He's stocky, he's strong. Um, he got a good core. And so, yeah. Have the injuries been frustrating for you guys on the O-line? Uh, yeah, just with any other position group. You know, it's unfortunate for those guys who have went down. And uh, it's something that you think about. But it's nothing that you can dwell on. You know, you, everybody still has a job to do. And you just got to find a way to get it done. How are you feeling? I think you, I think you got banged up a few weeks ago as well, right? I did. Uh, fortunately, you know, it wasn't nothing too serious. Um, it felt worse when I was out there, and then once I got it moving a little bit and they gave me some time, and all, I was good to go back out. You guys are still being able to produce. I think the last two rushing games have been the best of the season. What's that? Uh, what does that say about the unit to still be able to have that production even with all the injuries? Um, it, it's it's good to see, and you know, it's it's good to see where we can go because we know that's. We still haven't played to our best yet. And so to see that we're getting production each and every week, I think is only just keeping us to push going farther and farther. Along those same lines with the offensive line group, you know, is there an advantage in a way that once people get healthy, you'll have more guys who have played snaps and have that experience up there and know what they're doing? Uh, definitely. You know, it'll calm down a lot, some of the communication and stuff, but it also provides depth, you know, towards the back end of the year that these guys who like Frankie and Walk and uh, – Benley, who might not have been getting reps earlier in the year, are getting reps now. So we get guys in who can rotate, stuff like that. I think that'll for sure help us out. How do you see Walker's potential going forward? Where are the next areas for him to kind of grow and improve at that position? Uh, as far as he wants to take it. You know, he's a guy that's taking his coaching, 
and um, he's hard on himself when he messed up, when he messes up. And so I think as, as long as he does everything he needs to, as he can take it as far as he wants to go with it. Is this more Texas game or rivalry game for you guys? How do the players look at it? Uh, I mean, we let the rivalries decide by the fans, um, but they don't like us, we don't like them. It's just that simple. And uh, But we always treat every week the same, no matter what. You know, it just happens that it's North Texas this week. Is that a little bit different when you're on the field then? Is there a little more back and forth between your guys and their guys? A little bit, but you know, we always pride ourselves on keeping our head. You know, we can't have post-snap penalties. We got to limit the pre-snap penalties and we got to play our game. And that's all about the triangle and trusting in those core pillars. You guys are both 3-0 and in the in the league standings at the top of the standings. Is How huge of a game is that from, from that perspective? Well, you know, you don't really focus on it that perspective. You just take it one play at a time, one step at a time. But, uh, you know, it's a Goliath matchup. You know, it's like, you know, it's two 3 0 conference fighting for the number one spot. And so, you know, there is pressure on the game as well as they're feeling it too. Um, but you just take it one step. How does last year's matchup play into this week, if at all? Is that something you guys are talking about? Uh, nobody forgets last year's matchup, but, um, you know, it's a different element. You know, they come in our house. We were at their house last year. They were a very desperate football team. They wanted to get to that bowl game. They wanted to win for their coaches. And uh, honestly, I think we needed that loss. I don't think we won the conference championship without it because at that loss, it made it very real for that team that we can be beat. And we hadn't faced much adversity at that point. So I think with that loss, it tuned us up for the conference championship game. All right, thanks, Hans. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.